Hello there. I'm here at the very busy and popular Ferndown Classic Car Show on the King George V playing fields. There are a lot of nice examples of classic cars, so let's get straight down to it and start with this fine looking 1976 Jaguar XJ6. With only 36,000 miles on the clock, the owner tells me that this example is totally original and unrestored. Next up is a 1989 Ford Sierra GLS 4x4 with a very memorable number plate, F for fly. And now we come to a real rarity, the Tornado Talisman. This particular car is owned by one of the founders of Tornado Cars Limited. Only 186 talismans were ever made. Now just to look at the lines on this lovely 1963 Ford Console Capri. No introduction is needed for this famous make and model, the AC Cobra. I'll just leave you to savour the engine and the cockpit. Now for something a little more sedate. A 1953 Ford Popular 103E, every inch a classic, lovely. Want some comfort? then look no further than this very plush Bentley Brooklands with lots of space filled by a very big engine. Now for a couple of traditional sports cars in stunning form. First up is this 1968 Triumph TR250, an export model for the US with twin carbs on the six-cylinder 2.5-litre engine instead of the mechanical fuel injection on the UK TR5. Now there's one for a summer's day. Next to it is a Triumph TR4A. Can't you just imagine yourself sat behind the wheel putting this car through its paces along a windy British country road? Next up is a 1978 Daimler Sovereign with a full Webasto sunroof, unrestored except for a respray with the current owner having kept it for 26 years. Good for another 26 years I would say. <laughs> 
How about this Rover P6 V8 three and a half litre from 1972? And now the Lanchester. This roadrunner dates back to 1939 but looks like it's come straight out of the factory. And this one's called Lucy. And what a little beaut this post war Riley RM is. What have we here but another Riley, but this time a 1961 1.5 Mark II with a lovely blue interior. There are only 287 of them left and this one had a full professional restoration in 1996. Not sure that the watch clock is original though. This 1961 Vauxhall Cresta with a 2.6 litre engine spent the first 20 of its years in sunny Malta. There are now only about 30 left in the UK. Now onto a 1966 Morris Oxford called Marilyn. Superb. Most people will only have seen the rear of the next car as it sped away, the rare and desirable 1995 Mitsubishi FTO. How about a 1988 Toyota Celica 2 litre GT convertible and one of only 250 ever made at that? Only 37 are still registered in the UK. Another one for a summer's day. Here's one to get the heart racing, a pristine 1988 Jaguar V12 XJS, enough said. And next up is a wonderful example of the legendary Jaguar E-Type. This 4.2 litre Series 1 dates from 1966 and has a comprehensive renovation history. Another rather expensive number plate too. Thank 
Now for all you MG lovers, we have a lovely 1973 MGB, one of the most hankered after of sports cars. complete with owner Ross and T-shirt. And now for some effortless and luxurious cruising in a 1978 Mercedes 350SL with number plate to match. Watch out, the A-team's about, and don't mess with the driver of this left-hand drive GMC. And uh, we're about to announce uh, these two very young, very attractive gentlemen very shortly. With seating for your whole team. Charity shows as well, so we're doing doing a lot for us. Just setting up now. We need that sun. And now a white cab for the just married with champagne on ice and ready. Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. I still got plenty of feedback and reverb, Derek. This 1968 Saab 96 V4 has been rally converted and has successfully completed 38 rallies. The owner bought it in 1977 and as you can see the car has undergone major conversions on the engine, brakes and rally safety features. Now on to a super looking 1958 Wolsey 1550. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, will you please welcome with vintage uh, songs through the eras. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, the pastimers. Thank you very much, Governor. Let's get going with our journey. Another MG now, but this time a flawless red Mark I MGA with wire wheels from 1956. It is originally from California but was brought over in the 90s and converted to right hand drive as well as undergoing a full ground up restoration. Now this black beauty is a 1960 Ford Console Deluxe, a real comfortable cruiser. Check out the windscreen visor, bench seats and white wall tyres.
Lastly, there's this magnificent 1936 Rolls-Royce 2530 with twin horns too. And just to round off, there are a couple of classic villains also in attendance. 